Hi, welcome everyone. It has been quite a while since I've posted and today I want to do something very interesting, which is look under the hoods of the VGG19 model and see what each layer uh, is learning for features. Uh, before we jump into it, I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, also like this video because it definitely helps out a lot. And thank you for doing so. So let's jump right in. Okay, so let's open up our Google Colab notebook or uh, if you're working locally, your Jupyter notebook uh, locally and let's first load up all the modules that we need. Okay, so we need TensorFlow, we need the matplotlib.pyplot, we need NumPy, Pandas, Seaborn, all the usual suspects. And from tensorflow.keras, we need the model, the VGG19 model, importantly. We also need the preprocess input from the VGG model and some Im image processing uh, libraries. So now that we've loaded them, the next step is to uh, load our Google uh, Drive. If you're working locally, this doesn't apply to you and you can completely uh, skip the step. Next, we're gonna load the VGG19 model and print out its summary. So there we have it. We see there is an input layer in the beginning and uh, several combinations of conv uh, layers uh, with max pooling uh, going on over there. Towards the end, we will notice that we then have a flattened layer and two dense layers and a final prediction layer. The predictions is, um, you see uh, the, the shape is none and thousand. It means it has thousand uh, categories that it predicts on. The other interesting thing to note is that this VGG19 model has over 143 million parameters. And you see these are shown as non-trainable parameters uh, because we just loaded the VGG19 model. If we wanted to have trainable parameters, we'd have to build a new model using the layers from the VGG19 model. Now let's continue with our process of extracting the important information that we need in order to complete our task. Okay, so now let us extract the inputs of the VGG model using VGG underscore model dot inputs. Uh, this variable is going to be a Keras tensor of shape none 224, 224 by three. Next, we get the layers using VGG underscore model dot layers call. Next, we get the layer names using the layer.names call um, to get the names of the layers. So we, the layer names is a list of strings. Um, and then we also get the layer outputs using the um, layer.output method. As we print out the layer names uh, that we've just extracted, we see that these layer names map up with the uh, layers that we saw in our models.summary call. Now that we have extracted the information about the inputs and the layers, let's create a new custom model using this information. We will call this model feature underscore model and it's going to use inputs equal to VGG underscore inputs and outputs equal to VGG underscore layer outputs. Uh, so these are the variables that we've extracted or the tensors that we've extracted in our previous step. Now we can also plot this model to take a look at this new model, that custom model that we've just created. All right, the plot shows us what we expect really. Uh, the, con the set of con 2D uh, layers followed with max pooling layers um, multiple times over. We also see the shape of the input layer, which is what we saw before. And as we scroll down, we see that we have the flattened layer and the two dense layers and the prediction, which is uh, uh, predicting into a thousand categories. So next we are going to load our image from the image path and then pre-process the input using the pre-process input uh, call. 
And what this does is it converts uh, the image from RGB to VGR, and then each color channel is zero-centered with respect to the image net data set without scaling. All right, now let us pass our pre-processed input X uh, through our custom model. What the custom model is going to return is uh, the extracted features. And extracted features is a list of eager tensors that we will examine uh, in a step-by-step -step process in the next few cells. Okay, so the zeroth item of our extracted uh, features is the input uh, layer. And we see the different channels of the input layer being uh, shown over here. Okay, now let's see what the first uh, layer, which is block one, conv one layer, uh, learning from our image. And here it's so interesting to see the different features that are being learned at layer one. Okay, so now let's take it to the next level and uh, write code to visualize all the features being learned at each of these layers. Obviously, you'll see that uh, the, the flattened layer and the two dense layers and the prediction layers are excluded. All right, running the cell now, and ta-da! Look at all the different features that are being learned at each of these uh, layers. And the deeper you get into the net, um, you will see that the more basic features are getting identified like colors, um, and like simple patterns like diagonal lines or straight lines or horizontal lines. All right, and we see that uh, the flattened, the dense two layers and the prediction layers are excluded from this mapping. All right, guys, I want to remind you again, please, please subscribe to the channel and also please uh, like this video and thank you for your support. Let me know in the comments if there are specific topics that you'd like for me to uh, cover and I'd love to do that for you. Until next time, adios and see you next time. Bye!